Secretary of State Mike Pompeo addresses the Heritage Foundation in Washington. Pompeo discussed the Trump administration's approach to foreign policy and the mainstream media's one-sided takes on issues like North Korea and Iran. Pompeo said President Trump was willing to use economic power to stop Turkey's incursion against the Kurdish militia in Syria. His comments came as the White House continues to defend its decision to withdraw troops from the region. The truth was that it was not in Turkey's interest as a NATO ally to continue with that incursion. The truth was that our invasion set back our shared fight against ISIS. Uh, we think now we're in a better place. Pompeo explained the administration's take on foreign policy is different from the past, but continued use of failed strategies would hinder the country. One America's Emerald Robinson was at that event and has more. Speaking at a Heritage Foundation event Tuesday morning, the Secretary of State Mike Pompeo laid out the Trump administration foreign policy in perhaps the most concise speech to date on the topic. This comes at a time when the president is facing a lot of criticism from lawmakers on both sides of the aisle for his decision to withdraw troops from Syria. In fact, the nation's top diplomat saying that the president's foreign policy doesn't get the coverage it deserves, as it is often accused by talking heads and pundits in the media of having no foreign policy whatsoever. I think it's important that the American people get a chance to see what it is their taxpayer dollars are being used for by the United States Department of State. But showing up only matters if you're there for a purpose and that you were willing to tell the truth when it's tough. This administration has realigned the U.S. foreign policy priorities. The most notable example of this, of course, is its China policy. And now in the last two weeks, the president's decision to withdraw from Syria. The Trump administration has also put a focus on areas that past administrations have not. The nation's top diplomat saying his extensive travel itinerary best demonstrates the changing priorities. Now, the Secretary of State summed up the Trump administration foreign policy in five points, essentially, saying that this administration is realistic about the threats that America faces across the globe and talks candidly about it but that it also realizes that the U.S. doesn't have the resources to be all things everywhere all the time. The secretary saying, quote, that doesn't mean you abandon the field, but you recalibrate your resources. No nation has the capacity to deliver that. Uh, and that means uh, not that you abandon the field, but that you calibrate your resources to effectively address the relative risks. You do this in your business every single day. Uh, we do it in our families every single day. We, we assign resources against problem sets to, to match the threat. Uh, I, I, think that, I think that is a, th those two things undergird a set of changes that I think this administration has set in motion. Which leads to the third aspect of the Trump foreign policy, expecting other nations to take more responsibility. This administration also putting a big focus on economic strength and using economic measures to approach foreign policy, while also focusing on rules and standards for the whole world to serve as guidelines, be it regarding trade or human rights. And with its focus on human rights, it puts its focus on religious freedom, according to Secretary of State Pompeo, because this administration believes that it's the right way to promote human rights. So again, the Secretary of State putting the emphasis on the fact that he feels that this administration is more realistic about the threats that face the U.S. across the globe and are realigning their, the priorities to fit that more realistic and candid view. Now, in talking more about human rights, the State Department has set up a commission on unalienable rights. The Secretary of State saying the first hearing will be held this week on Wednesday. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.